So with the release of uh, the Avatar 2, we got a lot of new stuff released into the market. And uh, without any exception, uh, the Mini 4 Pro also got a software update that will mainly add support for yeah, the motion controller and the goggles 3 and a lot of other minor fixes that is brought to my attention. As uh, some of you might have known, uh, I applied at some point to show you that it was possible to declassify your drone from uh, C0 to C1 to take away the 120 uh, meter height limit that was introduced on the drone. And I got that sticker, but I never proceeded uh, with the full <laughs> process. So my uh, Mini uh, 4 Pro is still C0 classified. But I had numerous reports from you guys that there was issues out there that you couldn't really, even though you got the sticker and you provide the proof for DJI and such, you could not uh, enable the remote ID for the drone, which is a requirement if it goes from C0 to C1. In that relation, uh, I had some email correspondence with a guy named Sven that has very kindly provided me with uh, all his observations uh, from this uh, process. And it seems with the latest firmware update, there are some significant updates that will impact not only me, but um, those of you that has uh, performed this update to C1. And he's in the opposite situation. He uh, <laughs> went through with the process and um, made his Mini 4 Pro uh, C1 compliant. So he can't really verify if uh, the changes that he's seeing is being applied to a real C0 drone. So we're gonna check that here today. One of the things that he is saying is that there's no need to attach an additional green LED flashlight for any more night flights because the drone LED won't turn off anymore when recording video. As it used to be, now it's C1 conform. Uh, I just did a check here before prior to the update and uh, as you can see here on this clip to so see now it blinks and if I start the video recording uh, the LEDs will turn off so it'll be interesting to see if that changes uh, once the software is updated so now we're installing the latest firmware here and there's of course a lot of stuff here that's related to, to the avatar also, he says that the weight warning that is popped on the screen when you're using a Mini 3 Pro or heavier plus battery on the Mini 4 Pro is now gone. Because the Mini 3 Pro battery makes the drone go above 250 grams. I would not expect this to be the case here. At least he confirms that, that uh, these warnings are gone on his uh, updated C1 drone with the latest firmware, which is super good news as this will allow you to fly with your Mini 3 Pro batteries as well as uh, the Plus batteries if you can get hold of some of these. Many of you have been asking uh, for a reason why you would sort of upgrade uh, your Mini 4 Pro to a C1 classified drone. And this is one of the reasons that now you can legally use the Plus battery with the extended flight time in Europe. And in case you're wondering how to go through the process and apply for this, I made a video around this and I'll make sure to link that in the, somewhere here in the description below. The not so good part is that if you have purchased a third party plus battery from Amazon, the RC2 will now recognize this is not um, a genuine GGI battery and you can basically only use this battery from now as a paperweight or as a door stopper. And Swen actually has a point uh, that um, as it's a certified drone, it makes perfectly sense it can only use certified batteries. But it's still a bummer if you made the purchase. Finally, he's claiming uh, before this update, the RC2 controller used to change its MAC address every time the controller was turned on. And I don't know how he even picked up on that one. <laughs> I would have never noticed. But one of the issues with that, with changing the MAC address uh, all the time, is that it's very hard to make a secure connection to the internet because you will not be able to lock down the MAC addresses uh, for a certain device as it keeps changing all the time. That seems to be changed now with the latest uh, firmware and it will stay and maintain the same MAC address. So once it's done, we can verify if the LEDs stay on even if we start recording, which will solve the night flying issues with the green flashing lights. And if we still see uh, the Mini 3 Pro battery warning, if we pop that into the Mini 4 Pro. 
this takes forever. So the new firmware primarily is, uh, offers support for the Goggle 3 and the Motion Controller 3. That would be interesting to try and hook those up to the Mini 4 Pro and see how that works. <laughs> At least that will uh, extend the usage of uh, yeah, my Avatar 2 kit that I can also use it for my Mini 4 Pro and I can actually also use it for the Air 3. So that's nice. Noise. Ha! My Ego Booster is out of battery. <laughs> So it's ready, so it's back. And let's just jump in here and, uh, and check if the firmware has been updated. Yes, it's 0100, so that is all right. So I have the blinky blinky ones here, so let's just press record, see what happens. They still turn off. I wonder why it's changed on the C1 upgraded version and not on the uh, yeah, this one and the C0, that's basically the one that needs it the most because you can't add external LED lights to this drone. It's so close to the 250 gram limit. If you're adding an external light on top of the drone, uh, you will exceed the weight limit of the 250 grams. This was uh, the reason why it would have been pretty smart that uh, those LEDs, they can uh, basically uh, continue to blink uh, even though that you start the recording. But as you see here, when I start the recording, they turn off. Maybe you found a setting that will allow us to let them stay on. But as far as I can see, um, with the latest firmware, the 0400, um, the LEDs still turn off uh, when I press record. So let's just unplug this battery and take a Mini 3 Pro battery and plug it in. And see if we still get the warning here. Okay, interesting. <laughs> There's no warning now. Just go outside, Jim. So look at this, even with 26 satellites, there's no warning up here. Ha! That is strange. That's actually weird. It must be a bug. No warning. Let me just double check. Yeah, and uh, I, yeah. <laughs> I made this very simple system so I could sort of see the difference of the batteries. I just have a yellow sticker on the ones that are from the Mini 4 Pro originally and the one without is uh, the one for the Mini 3 Pro. These are the updates on the latest firmware and thank you once more Sven for providing me a deep insight into some of the stuff that I was not even aware of and uh, what you were seeing on the C1 drone. Uh, maybe uh, one of you can confirm if you see the same pattern that the, the LEDs they actually stay on for the ones of you that have taken the plunge and updated your drone to or your Mini 4 Pro to C1. Also, if you found anything else interesting that we should look into, then pop them in uh, the comments below and we will take, or I will take a deep dive into that. Or you can just write me an email if you want that on the email address that's listed under the about section. Feel free to do that as well. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you on the next one.